How you doing? I'm Kevin O'Hara for AlcoholMastery.com. One of the big things that I hear time and time again through um, the comments um, and emails is that people are ashamed of telling maybe certain people in their lives that they've stopped drinking, right? Um, and it's just one of those things that is, it's why do we think that way about alcohol, you know, that we're stopping doing something to ourselves? Now, why do we think along those terms that actually doing something of benefit to ourselves, to our lives, you know, to our relationships, to our finances, to every aspect of your life is such a thing that causes us to have shame. You know, this is the one drug that when you quit, we're programmed to feel shame, that we're programmed to feel like there's something wrong with us. You know, when you quit smoking cigarettes, right, it's, it's a thing of pride that you have in yourself, that you've actually gone so long without, without cigarettes, right? If you stopped taking any other drug, heroin, cocaine, PCP, are you going to feel good about yourself? Everyone around you is going to think, yeah, that's a good thing that you've done. You know, you've got rid of that. You know, what you were doing before was wrong. Now what you're doing is right. You know, with alcohol, it's the opposite. You know, a lot of people think that what you were doing before was, was right and what you're doing now is wrong. Or, you know, that you must be an alcoholic. You know, you're not like them, even though you might be drinking the same levels as the other people, you know. You know, they just look at you differently. But most people out there that are drinking alcohol, all they're doing is following the herd. You know, it's like the lemmings jumping off the cliff. You know, one does it and the rest of them all do it, you know. One sheep following the next sheep. They don't have the courage to do what you're doing, right? They don't have the courage to face up to the fact that they don't want to poison their bodies in the name of um, culture, in the name of community, in the name of socialization, in the name of relaxation, whatever it is, you know, you're stopping doing that, right? So I think you have to look at it from that perspective that, you know, th this is a courageous thing that you're doing for yourself, right? It's a smart thing that you're doing. It's the intelligent thing to do, you know? The stupid thing to do is to carry on putting this shit into your body, right? And, you know, looking at the hangover and thinking that, well, you know, the hangover is just, um, it's a part of it, you know? You have to look at the hangover like it's a real thing, like what it is, you know? This is physical poison. If you all of a sudden had the hangover spring up on you out of the blue, right? you think it was one of the worst fucking flus that you'd ever suffered in your life, right? But because you know the cause, it's like, oh, it's just a hangover. It'll disappear within a couple of days and that's it. I'll be back to normal. And then you do it again and again and again and again and again. You know, insanity. Insanity, pure and simple. So you have to look at what you're doing as being courageous, number one, and intelligent, number two, right? And... When you look at other people sipping their wine and making all the hoo-ha about the vintage and the depth and the bouquet and all that bollocks, that's what it is. It's bollocks, you know. They're really, they're convincing themselves that what they're doing is intelligent. Where it's not. It's stupid. They've just put fancy names to their stupidity, Right? So never be ashamed of quitting drinking alcohol, right? You, know, you wouldn't be ashamed if you quit any other drug, you know? If you quit cigarettes, you wouldn't be ashamed, right? If you quit heroin, you wouldn't be ashamed, right? This drug is killing three and a half million people every single year, right? It's responsible for over 200 different diseases. And people still do it. And they do it gladly, and they do it daily. And they make all sorts of excuses about why they're doing it. As I said, they make all sorts of... Um, fantasy names, you know, emperor's new clothes, that kind of stuff, you know, to pretend that what they're doing is right, to make it sound intelligent, when it's the most stupidest thing that somebody could do with themselves, you know, purposely, consistently poison themselves. So hold your head up high, pull your shoulders back, and keep on doing what you're doing, because it takes courage to do what you're doing, and if other people don't like it, tell them to go and fuck off, right? Basically it. Time to go fuck off, right, with themselves. You know, if if somebody, I, I had one of the best things that I've learned about doing all this stuff is, you know, when, as soon as somebody says to me now, 
that, oh, well, uh, do you have a problem? Or are you an alcoholic or did you have a problem with alcohol? I say, no. I say, I read a few books about it and I read how much of a toxin it is to my body and I've stopped being stupid with myself. And that's it, shuts them up straight away. There's no more bullshit with it, you know? They don't carry on with it. They look at you then like as if to say, who, who, who are you to tell this to me, you know? But I don't give a shit. You know, who are they to tell me that I'm an alcoholic or that I have a problem? And look at me with their fucking pity. I look at them with pity. They're the ones to be fucking pitied with their fucking flavoured grape pap. You know, this juice that is decomposing grapes. Rotten grapes. And they're sat there drinking the juice and they pity me. Get real with this thing, you know. I stopped doing that with myself. I copped on to myself. You know, and it took a while for me to get to this situation that I'm in now, right? Where I don't give a shit about the stuff anymore. I don't give a shit about what other people think about me. And if somebody wants to come out and start spouting stupidity at me, I've got a lot of stuff that I can spout back to them, believe me, right? And I will do, right? So at the end of the day, it's bit by bit, this approach, right? You've got the courage to stand on your own two feet and to go, this is not right in my life. And that's the first step to anything. If you're watching these videos, you've already taken the first step. If you're six months down the line, right, you've taken huge steps, right? This is what it's all about, is taking step by step by step by step away from the alcohol. You know, not dragging the alcohol with you like you're some kind of a fucking disease-ridden freak, right? That you've, you've got this alcohol label around your head for the rest of your life. That's not the way it is, right? You're taking step by step and the alcohol is way, way, way back there, you know? That's the way you have to look at this, right? Every step you take away from alcohol is a step you're taking in a smart direction, right? In a courageous direction. So I'm going to stop rambling now. Um, until next time, I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com. Uh, leave a comment down below if you want to leave a comment, ask a question, um, suggest a video. Um, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to support the channel, then go over to patreon.com um, and just put in alcohol mastery or you'll find the link on the website and you can support uh, Alcohol Mastery in any way that you want. Uh, I very much appreciate it, and I appreciate everyone who's already supporting the channel. Very much appreciated. Until next time, I'm Kevin O'Hara for AlcoholMastery.com. Take care of yourself. Keep the alcohol out of your mouth, uh, onwards and upwards. Good luck to you. Take care. All right, bye.